The Heart Institute at Children's Hospital Colorado is one of the top cardiac programs in the country, treating 20,000 patients each year. Children of all ages are surviving even the most complex heart diseases. And today we have some very special guests from Children's Hospital Colorado. Here today is Dr. Neil Wilson. He's a professor of pediatrics at the Heart Institute and the medical director of the Cardiac Cath Lab. We also have the beautiful Lynn Schaefer, event chair of the Little Hearts Lunch. And uh, so many beautiful kids here too that we're gonna talk about our little fashion models. So Dr. Wilson, why did you choose to work at the Heart Institute at uh, Children's Hospital? Well, I think anyone who's been anywhere near the entrance campus and have seen the Children's Hospital could only be impressed by what a marvelous building it is and what marvelous facilities are there. But what many people perhaps don't understand is that the reputation of the hospital goes far beyond Denver, Colorado, and even yes. the United States. So working and living in the UK as I was at the time, I was already very cognizant of the great reputation of outcomes of the surgical intensive care teams, the dedicated teams of anesthesia and cardiologists they have, and indeed, uh, this reputation is mm -hmm. worldwide. There are some spectacular, spectacular cardiologists in the hospital. And what inspired you to do this kind of work? Well, this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, we're very, very fortunate pediatric cardiologists in that we can work in our patients when they're small, babies even, and watch them grow up into this sort of quality of life and you can agree look at these oh guys. my gosh they're gorgeous they're yes time. and they're yeah they're lovely kids I can't wait to introduce you more to them tell me a little bit about the care at Children's Hospital and why do you think it's so different well I think it's very different because even within the cardiology department we have lots of subsections you like mm -hmm. uh, what I do is uh, something called cardiac catheterization but we have whole teams that look after babies for example who have heart problems still in the womb antenatally. Uh -huh. We have uh, teams that look after patients with high blood pressure in the arteries and the lungs, special world-class teams. We have, as I said, intensive care yes. second to none, cardiac anesthesiology. We have a great wellness center, so children who have got through their surgeries with their heart problems, their, their, their quality of life, their physical activity, their approach to life is maximized by that program. Doctor, did you bring an example or a model that you wanted to I show? Did. I, I brought something that I thought might be helpful to show. In the cardiac catheter lab, we don't do operations as such, but we are able through, through marvelous technology to be able to implant, na nowadays the, the newest thing Can we hold is, it to up? Implant, is to implant valves inside the heart okay. without having to do a formal big operation. Check that out. And so that's what you actually put inside the valve? This is the, like the valve? We, this is a valve uh -huh. and we can implant it into children who need new heart valves. Technology is amazing. Miss Lynn, tell me a little bit about the uh, Little Hearts Luncheon. What can we expect? You can expect a fantastic fashion show. We have 31 little models. They each of them have been seen at the Heart Institute, mm -hmm. and their illnesses range from heart transplant, pacemaker implant, cardiac mm -hmm. surgery. Yeah, quite a. But you would never. It's very impressive to see these children. You never know it. Yes. I mean, look at these little ones. I know. We have Max. Maxwell. Okay, Maya. William. And William. My goodness, you guys look so good. Are you excited next week for the the fashion show, William? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Are you Maya? Yeah. How about you, Max? Max is more interested in the doggy. Would you mind? Can we strike a pose? Can I take a selfie with you? Can we do that? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Ready? One, two. Give me your best, like, model look. Your best fish lips. One, two, three. Oh, got to go this way. Come down with me, William. Ready? There you go. Good, it's so cute, I'll post that on Facebook on Colorado and Company, okay? So Max, tell me a little bit about how Children's Hospital helped you guys out. Um, or William, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did Children's Hospital help you out a little bit? Um, yeah. Yeah, did you have a fun time there with the doctors? Um, kind of. Yeah, are you feeling yeah. better now? Yeah. Good, did you have a problem with your heart? No. No, is this, your, who had a problem with their heart? My brother, is Max. This, is this your brother? Yes. Oh my goodness. And was everything okay with Max when he went to Children's Hospital? Yes. Okay, good. And you're feeling good? Can you give me five up high? Down low? 
Oh, you got me. I was going to say too slow, but you guys are quick. So talk a little bit about Cormac and how does Cormac play into this special event? Would you mind helping me up, doctor? <laughs> it's easier when I'm your age, kid. Trust me. Okay, tell me a little bit about Cormac. Cormac is one of the prescription pet dogs that we have at Children's Hospital. Okay. And it's a visitation therapy program that has been in place since, I think, 1985. And these are specially trained dogs that go to the rooms and visit with the children, Aww. provided the children are okay with dogs and yes. the parents allow it. And Cormac has been in the program six years now. Oh, it's so sweet. And it has to put a smile on your face. And you can tell Max has a really good relationship with Cormac. So obviously doing his job there. How does the Little Hearts Luncheon support the Heart Institute at Children's Hospital? The money raised at the luncheon goes directly to help the families of those treated at the Heart Institute. Amen. And it helps with non-medical needs. Yeah. That's transportation, uh, groceries, hotel stays, things that still happen you know electric bills life goes on life goes on you have one child that's sick but you have other children at home like William said so it's difficult exactly. you know and not all of our families live in Denver right how do we buy tickets to the event to help support you can go to um, oh. I'll give the web address oh, thank you. really I quick just, we have some sorry. parents I have 10 seconds get out here with your kids come on come on the one mom's going me I didn't get my hair done <laughs> come on Daniel come on out here these are the parents that go through it with okay. these beautiful little kids and thanks to Children's Hospital, yeah. they are surviving and doing well. You can help out. The Little Hearts Luncheon and Fashion yeah. Show takes place April 5th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum. Come enjoy the show. Help Children's Colorado continue outstanding care for the kiddos and the teens with heart diseases. Tickets are available at Children's Hospital Colorado Foundation.org backslash LHL. There's also a really fast and easy way to donate. You can text LHL 2018 to 52182. That text number is 52182 to support all the little hearts treated at Children's Colorado. Thank you, you guys.